to those terms, definitions rather, that upset the liberals. Yes, alien and illegal alien are certainly not positive terms, but breaking the law and living in this country illegally is also not a positive action. Will someone tell the Library of Congress? Nixing the term illegal alien from its international subject headings. Instead, they're going with non-citizen. It comes at the request of Dartmouth College students who drafted a petition saying that the term was dehumanizing. Oh, fantastic. Well, my next guest isn't demanding those terms be used. She just believes they should be used as they once were before this bogus PC move. Joining me now, Republican Congressman from Tennessee, Diane Black. Congressman, thanks for being with me tonight. Thank you. It's great to be with you as well. So we scrubbed these terms in the first place because some college students felt that they were dehumanizing illegal aliens? Well, can you believe that the Library of Congress would make a decision with a bunch of liberal students from Dartmouth University who sent a petition to them to say that this was a dehumanizing or an inflammatory term? And to make that decision, um, on political correctness to change something that has been uh, in the lexicon there at our Library of Congress uh, since back in the early 1900s is just unbelievable to me. And now, because of a petition, we have to have a bill to correct the problem. It would seem right that maybe a conservative university should also sign a petition to bring them back, and maybe we wouldn't even have to make it a congressional move to do so, but we know that that won't happen. So what is a solution? Well, the solution is just as we have done. We have filed a bill, and we have about 25 co-sponsors right now. We'll continue working with people. Uh, once they hear this, they're, they're saying, yes, we want to be with you. This is ridiculous that we would change the lexicon. Um, as a matter of fact, I think it's very interesting that just yesterday with the Supreme Court hearing uh, the Texas case on the president uh, trying to make Ill illegal immigrants um, legal in this country, uh, the Supreme Court judges, the, the, the judges that are very liberal, were using these very terms. So I think if it's good enough for our Supreme uh, Court, then it's good enough to keep in the, in the Library of Congress in their lexicon.